Energy is the key factor that separates one galactic civilization from another. The ability to advance technologically relies solely on this resource. In 1964, a Russian astrophysicist by the name of Nikolai Kardashev developed a system to classify the level of technological advancement of a civilization based on its ability to harness energy. The scale is typically measured on a logarithmic scale from 0 to 3, with 0 being a civilization that has not yet developed the technology to harness its own planet's energy, and 3 being a civilization that is able to harness the energy of its entire galaxy. Since its creation, the scale has been expanded by other scientists in the field to include the all-powerful Types 4 and 5 civilization. A Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved the ability to harness the energy of its own planet. This is a significant milestone in the development of a civilization, as it would require the development of advanced technology capable of harnessing and controlling the natural resources of the planet, such as solar or wind power. A Type 1 civilization would also likely have developed advanced forms of transportation and communication, and would be able to manipulate its environment to a significant degree. A Type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved the ability to harness the energy of its own star. This is a much more advanced level of technological development than a Type 1 civilization, as it would require the ability to harness and control the enormous amounts of energy produced by a star. A Type II civilization would likely have developed advanced forms of space travel and be able to manipulate its environment on a much larger scale than a Type I civilization. It is worth noting that, according to the original scale proposed by Nikolai Kardashev, it is highly unlikely that any civilization would be able to reach a Type II level of technological development within the next few centuries. A Type III civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved the ability to harness the energy of its entire galaxy. This is an incredibly advanced level of technological development and it is highly unlikely that any civilization in the universe has reached this level. A Type III civilization would have access to almost unimaginable amounts of energy and would likely be able to manipulate matter and space on a cosmic scale. It is highly unlikely that any civilization would be able to reach a Type III level of technological development within the lifetime of the universe. A type for civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved the ability to harness the energy of an entire universe. This is the highest level on the original scale proposed by Nikolai Kardashev, and it is even more advanced than a type 3 civilization. It is highly unlikely that any civilization in the universe would be able to reach this level of technological development as it would require access to almost unimaginable amounts of energy and the ability to manipulate matter and space on a universal scale. It is worth noting that, according to the original scale proposed by Nikolai Kardashev, it is highly unlikely that any civilization would be able to reach a type for level of technological development within the lifetime of the universe. There isn't much to say about type 5 civilizations because they are existing in absolute god mode. A type 5 is so advanced our human consciousness cannot imagine the level of technological advancement. Reality and the very nature of existence would be under complete control of a type 5 being. We are currently at about 0.7 on the Kardashev scale, which means that we can harness about 7% of the energy available on Earth. The amount of energy available on Earth is so large that it has taken us thousands of years to even get close to this level. We have just begun to harness fossil fuels and nuclear power, but there is still much room for improvement in these areas as well as others such as renewable energies and other types of power sources that we have yet to discover or develop fully. We probably have another few hundred years before we will be at a 0.8 level, or perhaps longer if we can find a way to genetically engineer humans so that they last longer. At this point, our main concern will be finding enough raw materials and space for living areas on Earth itself rather than worrying too much about finding an alternative home somewhere else in our solar system or galaxy. While this may seem like a very long time from now, it really isn't if you think about how long it took us just to reach 0.7 on this scale. We don't know how many civilizations may be out there. We've made observations, and calculations, of thousands of nearby stars in our galaxy and we haven't seen any signs that indicate that there are other civilizations out there right now. But this doesn't mean there aren't any others. It just means that either one, they have yet to develop the ability for advanced communication. Two, they have developed it but haven't used it yet, maybe because they don't want us to find them, or three, they have developed it and are using it but we can't detect them, 
may be because they use a different type of communication. We really don't know. What does this mean for you? For your life? For your future children and grandchildren? What does this mean for life on Earth? Well, according to the Drake equation, there are many civilizations out there, and they are all doing something different. They are all going through different phases of their own development. We might not ever find them. But if we do find them, maybe we'll learn a lot about ourselves by comparing our development with theirs. Or maybe they can just introduce us to new ways of living that we didn't know were possible before. The possibilities for our future are endless. While it is highly unlikely that any civilization will reach the highest levels of the scale within the lifetime of the universe, the Kardashev scale provides a useful framework for thinking about the potential future development of a civilization and the challenges and opportunities that it may face as it progresses along the scale.